it's time to use my own freebie with digital items to create something for my junk journal. Welcome, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. If you missed those other two videos, you can find them in the playlist in the description box below this video. And we would love for you to participate as well by clicking on our download links below each of our videos. It's absolutely free. And a big thank you to all the wonderful creators out there who have already posted on YouTube or Instagram using our hashtag 5digitalitemsswap. It's so fun to see what everyone comes up with. So if you would like to get more inspiration, just type hashtag 5digitalitemsswap in the YouTube and or Instagram search bar to see all the fun creations that have been posted already using our freebies. It's been so long ago that I have created this freebie that I actually forgot my own instructions. When I make my freebies for these challenges, I don't actually think about what the end product is going to look like. So for me, this is just the same as if I would get one from Louisa or from Rhonda, because first of all, I can't remember the instructions. And second of all, I had no plan with this. I just took items that I thought would kind of go together, but I don't know what the outcome of the sum of everything could be. So I have no advantage actually to anyone else doing this. So let's look at the instructions. Create a tag using all five items. The number plates count as one. Add a pop of a vibrant color using paints, cutouts, die cuts, etc. You may use images multiple times by printing more than once. Add a hand-drawn or painted flower or plant somewhere. Add something dimensional from your stash, button, lace, packaging, beads, etc. Enjoy. So I have given this some thought before I turned on the camera. So the tag I'm going to create today is about infinite love. <laughs> so I actually printed this out twice, but I did something. So you will notice here, one is flipped. So do you see that? And there's a very easy way to do that when you print. And I'm going to show you here how I just flipped this entire image to be like this. Of course, the writing now you can't use, <laughs> but that's not the point. So let me show you how I do that. So what I do is, so you see the image here, and then I go on file print. And then where it says here preview, I click to layout. And then here it says flip horizontally. I just click that and then I click print and that's it. So that's what it looks like on an Apple computer. On a Windows computer, it will probably look a little bit differently, but hopefully you can figure it out from seeing this. And what I also did when I printed this reverse image is that I printed this at 90% instead of 100%. So I'm going to start off by cutting out these two here and mounting them on a sturdy piece of cardboard. This is just some packaging. Okay, so I have these back now with the cardboard and one is smaller than the other. I did cut off about this much here of the smaller tag and I have already inked them with vintage photo. So the idea is to put the smaller one into a belly band, which is going to go obviously on the big one. I have this scrap from a Tim Holtz paper and I think this will be a great base for our belly band. I just need to cut it down in size. We won't really see a lot of it once it's attached. So I'm just going to cut this to the right length and then I'm going to go around this with my vintage photo as well. I'm going to stitch around this with my sewing machine. That way I get a nice decorative edge and I'm also attaching the belly band in that way. When I was at the sewing machine, I decided of course I need to sew around this smaller one as well so that they fit together, obviously. So this here now has some space here 
for this to fit in nicely. Next, I want to do some background decorating on this here. And I got myself a new stencil that I want to try. It's from All and Create. I guess that's how you say it. There's their website, allandcreate.com. I will link that for you below as well. I bought this from a German online store, so I will link that below as well. So I'm excited to try this one out. I've seen that this brand has very, very cool stencils. Oh, this is so cool. And it seems to be really nice and thick quality. I'm going to use some titanium white acrylic paint. And we'll see how that looks. Hopefully it'll be nice. <laughs> I love it that looks so cool and this paint is holding up really well as you can see it's not like flowing underneath the stencil like they sometimes do so this is a De La Rowney paint super happy with that okay let's just add a little bit more here on the bottom While that dries, I'm going to cut out all of these elements, but I'm going to first back them with some cardstock because I want all my elements to be nice and sturdy. So I've cut them all out. I've adhered them to some cardstock. I've inked around them with my vintage photo, and I also did the same thing with our reverse image. So now we have these two giraffes and you see here, the one on the right is just a little bit smaller because she's at 90% and he's at 100%. So let's arrange these on our smaller tag now that will go into the belly band. So by making one larger and one smaller, I think it's really cute to put them on the tag like this and I'm fine with their ears sticking out a little bit. <laughs> How cute are they together? I think they're so sweet. And at the moment, they both look like girls because of the flowers. So she can keep the flower in her hair, but he needs something else here. So I thought we would make him like a little round hat. I have these cogwheels left from the challenge with Louise's Digital, which was episode two. And I thought we could try to construct kind of a hat looking thing with these so these fit into each other except that the middle one is more dimensional which is good because that one is glued onto cardstock and the outer ring is not then i thought i could glue them onto this piece of round cardboard that i found in my stash so i'm going to glue these together so we have this and now i'm going to make a small hole in the middle into which I'm going to put a brad that has a cross on it. And that can be like his little hat. So he looks a little bit more masculine. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pretty giraffes down. See, our male giraffe is very special because usually giraffes are polygamous, but ours is not. Ours is a monogamist and he is in love with his baby. More about that later. So I got the idea for infinite love because of this eight here, which turned sideways could of course be seen as a sign for infinity. Now it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit. So I'm just going to take my ruler and keep the same design, but just make the whole thing smaller. So I just inked it up and this is now what I have. So this is the comparison, the large one and the small one. 
and I'm just going to place that here so that they're kind of bound together in love through eternity. <laughs> Talk about corny, but I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to glue this on. Also kind of looks like a bow almost. Next, I want to add our hand-drawn flowers or plants. I want some more contrast for the background, so this works out perfectly. I'm going to take my acrylic paint marker. This is from the brand Passimo, which I have no idea. It sounds Italian, but no idea. It doesn't say where it's from. And I'm going to attempt to draw a love bush. <laughs> so a bush with little hearts on it. I think that would be very, very fitting. I don't want the hearts to look like round conventional hearts. I kind of want them more funky, I think. Like that. I know that one doesn't look very funky. I wanted them to be a little more square. I want them to be intertwined. There, that's how I want them to be, you see? <laughs> And then we also need some up here. Okay, so there's our hand-drawn plant, our love bush. So I think this tag is now done. So we have these four parts left that we have to include on the bigger tag. And since I have to add a pop of vibrant color, I think the butterfly is the perfect piece to do that on. I have this fluorescent orange, also De La Rowney, and I'm going to add that to parts of the wing. So obviously I can definitely add it to all the parts that already have orange on it, just to make that pop out a bit more. And then I want to add some here on the bottom as well. Cracks, which are currently white. That's so pretty. See these spots here? Those need to be fluorescent as well. Once that has dried, I'm just going to clean up some of the lines here and go over those. And I want to add him on top of the clock, approximately like this. And I also want to add this metal piece here on top. So that kind of becomes his body. And I want to be able to turn not just this, but the whole butterfly. So that means I first need to glue this arrow onto the body of the butterfly. Nope, not a good idea. <laughs> Let's wipe that glue off again. Oh no, I hope we won't see that. Because first we need to punch the hole. Because I think once the arrow is there, we won't be able to punch the hole. So let's put it on again. <laughs> Draw where the hole needs to be. So now I know where to punch the hole. And I can once more glue down my arrow. <laughs> and I also, of course, need to punch the hole <laughs> in the clock. <laughs> and this doesn't reach. Okay, I need my all. So again, I should mark where I want my butterfly like this. Let's punch our hole here. Then I have this tiny, tiny brad, which will go through here. And hopefully we'll be able to turn the butterfly. Yes, success. <laughs> so this is going to be our centerpiece on the belly band. 
And then we have these two, so one can go on top, one can go on the bottom. I'd love to still see the stitching. So I'm going to glue these down as well. Making sure I'm not gluing it onto the tag. And finally, I can glue this down. Oh, but I should not glue the, oh no. I shouldn't glue the brand down, otherwise we won't be able to turn it. Or will we? Oh, we will, we're not turning the brand. Hello. <laughs> All good. <laughs> and because I can never glue anything without getting glue all over, like here and here, just like I did in my last challenge video, I am again going to add my transparent gesso over this. Hides everything. So I went into the World Wide Web to look for some love quotes. So I found two that I want to include. One I would like to include dangling from here. So it's a short one and it says, love is space and time measured by the heart. How cute is that? I am so in love with this quote. And so I decided I need that quote on a thing that I could dangle here. So I checked my die cuts and I found this one. So I'm going to type that quote on a sheet of copy paper and I'm going to take this to my die cut machine and cut out a piece of cardstock. And then we can cut the quote out and glue it on here. So I wasn't sure what size would fit in here. So I printed it out in four different sizes. So now I can check which one works best. Actually, the biggest one is perfect. So I'm going to cut this one out. And I also cut out this shape with just a beige cardstock and with some of this paper that I had left over. So I'm going to glue these together and then I'll glue the quote on top of that. I'll ink up the parts with my vintage photo again. Now I can glue this on. I want to leave some space here for a hole. I'm going to make a small hole on top and I'm also going to add a small eyelet in there. I have this cute vintage tin and I have these tiny tiny eyelets in there. Hopefully I can make this work. I never know how to use the settings on my crocodile so I just changed them to something that looks smaller and hopefully that will work. Oh yeah, that actually worked. And then I want to attach a little charm as well. And I found this one. It's a key that says love. Isn't that adorable? This came from my friend Sonia. Vielen Dank, liebe Sonia. So cute. So they need to go together. And now I somehow need to, and I should have done that before, <laughs> definitely before I glued it on even before I attach the brad. We'll see if I can make a twine fit underneath that brad. <laughs> or maybe better underneath the arrow. No, we glued the arrow, we can't do that. So our only chance is to fit it underneath the brad. Let's see if we can still manage to do that. <laughs> it's not looking good. <laughs> maybe a thinner twine. Yeah, this is definitely too thick. So let me try to take this apart into singular strands. Okay, I have one strand, fingers crossed. Oh yes, it worked, yay! That makes me so happy. <laughs> and it still turns. Now, how do we do this? I obviously did not think this through at all. Okay, let's put this through and then the key. And then what? <laughs> okay, I want it actually up here. 
just going to wrap this around okay and then i will just i think tie a bow no maybe just a double knot i don't have the patience for a bow <laughs> And then we can just leave the ends dangling, maybe. Like that, yes. Perfect. And then, of course, I need to show you the other quote that I found. So this is it. And this says, what you are to me has no understanding unless you can understand what forever and infinity really mean. <sighs> so this is what he's saying to his love. So I'm going to type this on my typewriter on a coffee dyed paper. And this was actually not planned, but I think this would work really well. If I would just back this tag with this paper, I could even do it so that this quote is centered. Or should I do that? I'm not sure if I want to cover up the stitching because that's really cute. Maybe I should just tear around it and then glue it on top. So I've inked around it and I am very simply going to glue that right there. I don't only like the stitching, but I also like to see that this is like a recycled packaging. I like that look. On the back of the bigger tag, I want to add the instructions, but maybe I should first check if I've done everything. Create a tag, yeah. Using all five elements, yes. Add a pop of vibrant color using paint cutouts, like etc. So that's on the butterfly. You may use images multiple times. Yeah, we've done that. Add a hand drawn or painted flower. That's our love bush or a heart bush. Add something dimensional. Yep, we have plenty of dimensional things here. Enjoy. Yes, definitely enjoyed that. So on the back here, I also cut out this so that I know what this was in a few years still. And I'm just going to, oh, this is too big. Okay, I'm gonna trim this down just a little bit more and then I'm going to glue those down. Okay, so here are both back sides. Now let's add our infinite love tag to the bigger tag. That is quite a bulky tag. <laughs> it's okay. It's so cute. We can have him picking out. We have our quote here. Love is space and time measured by the heart. I just love that. We have our love key. We can turn our butterfly to change the time. So have fun with these. Don't forget to download your freebies if you haven't already. Check out the other videos linked below. Love you guys!